On Monday, March 3rd, my boss told me she was going on vacation for two weeks. I felt a brief moment of pure bliss. Then she told me that she had a big presentation at the annual ball pit convention the day she got back, and that I had to prepare the materials. She said that this was our opportunity to differentiate ourselves in a commoditized market by presenting innovative ball pit solutions that would revolutionize the industry. Then she wished me luck and headed off. I didn't even know we made ball pits. On Tuesday, I searched our website to learn more about our ball pit business, but all I found were listings for our consumer and commercial ball pits, along with a web order form with no contact information. So I searched the web to learn more about the ball pit market and trends. I found a few interesting sites and learned a lot, but couldn't think of any innovative ideas. More balls, maybe. On Wednesday, I emailed and called everyone I know in sales, production, and head office, but none of them had any experience or contacts in the ball pit world or any ideas on how we could innovate. The only person who had any interest in ball pits at all was my buddy from accounting, whose name is Nigel, though I call him Hercules because he used to be a strongman in a carnival. Turns out, Hercules is a ball pit aficionado. He didn't have any ideas for innovation, but said he and his carnival friends would be first in line if we came up with a good product. On Thursday, I called an emergency brainstorm meeting for our team. We spent the whole day doing a mind map exercise about ways to improve ball pits. We even had lunch brought in. At the end of the day, we had this. It wasn't much, but it was something. On Friday, I put a presentation together with what I had so far. As I was adding the final touches, my boss texted me and asked me to fax a draft to her hotel. I had a few issues with the printer, so I had to run out and find a copy shop, then find a place that would let me send faxes overseas, which took forever. But I managed to get it done, then headed home to spend some time with my family. In the middle of the night, I got a text from my boss. It was morning where she was. The good news is that she had gotten the facts. The bad news was that she had gotten the facts. That Saturday, my youngest daughter noticed that I was down and asked me what was wrong. I told her that I needed help with something at work and that I'd asked everyone I knew, but no one could help me. She said that maybe instead of asking people I knew, I should ask people who knew the answer. I told her that was a good idea, and it was. On Monday, March 10th, I asked this guy at the office, who knows about cool things, if there was some way to find people in the company who knew about ball pits, and he said that you could do that using IBM Connections. He did a quick search in profiles and found a couple of dozen people across the company who were tagged with ball pit, including Hercules. Then he asked me what I was trying to do. I told him about the presentation I was working on and what a bad week I'd had the week before, and he said that I could have had a much better week if I'd used Connections. Fortunately, it wasn't too late. He told me what I needed to do. Then I went back to my desk and set up a ball pit innovation community with a short description outlining the project goals and timeline. I invited the guy who knows about cool things and all the people tagged with ball pit to the community, then added a few applications to help us collaborate. A forum, which we could all use to discuss the project. An ideation blog, basically a place to suggest ideas and vote on the ones you like. And files to store any files that people wanted to share, like my presentation. By Tuesday morning, there were already a few good ideas in the ideation blog, and there was a lively discussion in the forum. Gloriana, who works in the Grand Fenwick sales office, asked if we could invite people from outside the company to the community, like major clients and distributors, because they really understand the market needs. Everyone loved that idea, and the guy who knows about cool things said it was easy to do. So I invited everyone on Gloriana's list, as well as some of Hercules' carnival friends. By the end of the day, many of them had accepted, and were already sharing ideas. By Wednesday afternoon, we had a lot of great ideas in the ideation blog, so I asked everyone to spend some time reading them over and voting. At the end of the day, my boss texted me, asking for an update. The printer was still broken, so I asked the guy who knows about cool things if he knew anything about printers and international faxes. He pointed out that I could just invite my boss to the community, which she could access with her smartphone to keep up with the progress. So I did that. That night, my boss texted me again, but this time she was happy. By Thursday, we had a few clear winners, so I added them to the presentation and asked everyone for comments. On Friday morning, I went through the comments and updated the presentation. My boss had asked for some cost estimates, so I asked Hercules to make those and add them to the presentation notes. I noticed that he'd done that before I left for the weekend. 
That night, I got another text from my boss, and she was thrilled. I had a great weekend with the kids, including an amazing game of Yell the Colors, knowing that everything was set for Monday. <laughs>